I was just minding my own business, okay? While I was doing that, I accidentally applied this tinted lip balm. And my whole perception changed and unfortunately, there was a hole in my wallet. I'm kidding, no holes were found in my pocket, boo-boo. Do you know why? Because we are gonna talk about affordable, my lips are already better kinda, tinted lip balms and lip and cheek tints. I am a simple girl. I have pigmented lips and all of these colors complement my pigmentation. You know what I'm talking about, none of these lip products will put you in that lack mentality. So let's get started with lip and cheek tint. I'm kinda mean for saying this, but I feel like this is the only product from Mama Earth that deserves the hype. Let me introduce y'all to my favorite lip, cheek and eye tint. I'm talking about the Mama Earth Nourishing Natural Lip, Cheek and Eye Tint in 02 Coco Nude. Coco Nude is a dark mauve nude color. You will not get crazy amount of pigment with this one. And actually it's for the good. This is truly an MLBB shade. You should also keep in mind that Coco Nude seems like a dark brown nude color on the website. It's not, it's a deeper mauve brown color. Something about these uh, dark brown lip and cheek tints, they all look very brown on the website, almost like a chocolatey brown. After a few days of opening the product, the color shifts from dark brown to dark mauve something about the formula this color specifically i just cannot describe what is so special about them you know when you first warm up the formula from the pan it literally feels like tinted vaseline it has the slip of petroleum jelly but once it is on your lips it dries down to full matte even though this is meant for lips cheeks and eyes i personally only use it as my lip tint i also love how the color accentuated my lip pigmentation if I finish this lip tint, I know I'll be sad and I'll place an order within days. There's no way I'm not repurchasing this lip tint. I give this 10 out of 10. The cute mirror that comes with the tint totally stole my heart. It's very clear and convenient for reapplication. None of these lip products in this video are long lasting and almost all of them transferred. This one isn't even meant for your lips, but I love the formula so much that I cannot stop wearing it on my lips. I'm talking about the Blue Heaven Pop and Glow Cheek and Eyes Gel Bloom Blush. Though it looked brownish nude on the website, this color Subtle Nude is a mauve light pink color. It's a gel-based tint. Right from the tube, the formula looks gel-based and as you blend the color on your lips and cheeks, it melts into your skin. Blends very, very easily, non-patchy and on the lips, it definitely dries down to full matte. I love this color for my blush as well. Yes, it does look a little, you know, pastelish pink in this lighting. But in normal room lighting, it doesn't exude pink, but more mauve. While you only need a dollop of this gel tint, the applicator and I are frenemies. I love the millennial pink and blue packaging, love the aesthetics, but I hate the packaging, the applicator. I cannot stand this. You have to be a little cautious while squeezing the tube or else you will end up with more than a dollop. Even though it is a tint, when I remove the color, it doesn't stain my lips like a regular tint. I have another mauve based lip and cheek tint which I just recently bought. I thought I would just share it with you. This is from Swiss Beauty Craze Lip and Cheek Macron in 01 Brown Pie. The packaging screams Tower 28. Now compared to Mama Earth Coco Nude, Brown Pie is a true cool toned mauve. Now just like the Mama Earth tint, this too looked very brown like dark brown on the pan but no this is a cool toned true mauve color this has crazy pigment and when you apply it on your lips the color is so opaque that you know sometimes i need to tone it down that's how pigmented this tint is craze tint versus mama earth i would kind of choose mama earth but i like the craze tint too Exactly like the Mama Earth lip tint, this too at first feels very creamy on the lips and gradually dries down to full matte. 
I have another shade with me here. This is 03 Apple Pie. Apple Pie is a coral pink shade. With colors like Apple Pie, I would never apply it all over my lips like a lipstick. Since the color is way too bright for my skin tone, I only apply the color on the inner parts of my lips and then blend it out. So what I do is I let the natural pigmentation from my lips act like a lip liner. In terms of a lip tint, I would choose brown pie, but if I have to choose a cheek tint, I totally prefer apple pie. Both of these leave a faint tint on the lips when I remove the colors. This is the product that I was talking about, this tinted lip balm from Blue Heaven in the shade Dusty Rose. Totally changed my perception of tinted lip balms. Fun fact, I never used to own a tinted lip balm before, like I've never tried one. I'm not talking about flavored lip balms, I'm talking about colored and saturated lip balms. I always thought tinted lip balms were mediocre because of the terrible color payoff, but then the whole clean girl minimal makeup era started and now I am totally obsessed. Well, I wouldn't exactly call this lip balm a lip balm. It's more like a shiny glossy lip tint that also like hydrates your lips. The moisture is stay put for one hour or so and then the color dries down to a matte finish. That is if you don't eat or drink in between. I take about two layers to build up the opacity. Dusty Rose again is a dark mauve color. It's a cool toned lip color, but it doesn't exude a lot of purple. The color in itself is very balanced and I can absolutely wear it with or without makeup. Very biased opinion, but I like to carry these uh, tinted lip balms in my bag at all times. Right now, I love using these when I have no mood for makeup, especially when I'm PMSing. So yeah, I give this 9 out of 10. I don't know why, but this lip balm reminds me of Clinique Black Honey. Black Honey if it had brown hue instead of maroon. I'm talking about the Swiss Beauty Craze Tinted Weightless Lip Balm. I have two shades with me here, Marshmallow and Sugar Rose. Marshmallow is my favorite. I love this color. It looks so juicy and fruity on my lips compared to Blue Heaven. This retains moisture for around two plus hours and the best part is that when the color dries down it looks like a lipstick almost the other day i wore this and i and i came back and it legit looked like i had lipstick on my lips brown pie the color isn't that pigmented you definitely need two to three layers but sugar rose is a straight up shiny <laughs> lipstick okay the color payoff is on another level brown pie definitely looks like a tinted lip balm now I got Sugar Rose and I didn't think it would suit me, but no, I really like this color too, but I will not apply this color all over my lips. This is what I do. I apply Sugar Rose on the inner parts of my lips and for the outer part, I use Brown Pie. Also, Sugar Rose has a minty polo kind of a scent. I couldn't find the same scent on Brown Pie for some reason. I give them 9 out of 10. Out of all these uh, 7 tinted lip balms and lip and cheek tints, the Mama Earth one is top tier. Next to that is the Marshmallow Tinted Lip Balm and Blue Heaven Lip Balm is my all-time favorite. That is it for today's video. What are your favorite tinted lip products? Share it with me in the comment section down below. I'll see you next week. Bye guys.